Did you know that Norway, the land of majestic fjords and legendary Vikings, has a surprisingly melodic language? Often praised for its beautiful cadence, Norwegian might seem intimidating at first glance, but fear not. We're here to embark on a linguistic adventure, unraveling the secrets of how to say Norway and Norwegian. Prepare to be captivated by the intriguing history and cultural nuances embedded within this seemingly simple word. From its Viking roots to modern day pronunciation, we'll delve into the heart of what makes the Norwegian language so unique. So whether you're a language enthusiast, a traveler planning your next Nordic escape, or simply curious about the world's linguistic tapestry, fasten your seatbelts, get ready to unlock the secrets of Norway and Norwegian, a journey that promises to be as enchanting as the country itself. As we venture into the world of Norwegian pronunciation, let's first address the elephant in the room. Why does a country's name often sound different in its native language? The answer lies in the fascinating evolution of languages, cultural exchanges, and the unique phonetic tapestry that each language weaves. Just like a traveler collecting souvenirs from their journeys, languages borrow, adapt, and transform words over time. This linguistic dance results in a beautiful diversity of pronunciations and meanings across the globe. Our journey takes us specifically to Norge, the Norwegian word for Norway. Get ready to roll those R's and explore the subtle nuances that make this pronunciation distinctly Norwegian. In Norwegian, Norway transforms into the intriguing word Norge, pronounced Norge. The G is softer than its English counterpart, almost like a gentle whisper between the Nor and the Er. The E at the end is pronounced similarly to the E in bed. Imagine yourself standing amidst towering mountains and serene fjords, the crisp Norwegian air filling your lungs. That's the kind of environment where the word Norge truly comes alive, echoing the country's rugged beauty and quiet strength. Mastering the pronunciation of Norge is your first step towards unlocking the captivating world of the Norwegian language. It's a gateway to understanding the country's culture, history, and the warmth of its people. Let's break down the pronunciation of Norg syllable by syllable, like explorers charting a new course. The first syllable, Nor, might seem familiar, resembling the English Nor in North. However, the Norwegian R adds a unique twist. The second syllable, GE, holds the key to the word's distinctly Norwegian flavor. The G takes on a softer, almost silent quality, like a gentle breeze rustling through the fjords. It's not a hard G as in garden, but rather a subtle transition to the final E. This meticulous pronunciation might seem like a small detail, but it's these subtle nuances that breathe life into the Norwegian language. It's like the difference between simply looking at a painting and truly appreciating the artist's brushstrokes. Ah, the Norwegian R, a sound that has intrigued and sometimes intimidated language learners for generations. It's not quite the rolling R of Spanish or Italian, nor is it the guttural R of French. The Norwegian R occupies a unique space, often described as a uvular R or a throat-clearing sound. Imagine gently scraping the back of your tongue against the soft palate, almost like you're about to gargle. That's the general vicinity of the Norwegian R. It's a sound that takes practice, but once mastered, it adds a certain charm and authenticity to your Norwegian pronunciation. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. Even native Norwegian speakers have their own regional variations of the R. The key is to embrace the challenge and enjoy the journey of discovering this unique sound. As we move to the second syllable of Norge, we encounter the elusive G. Unlike its English counterpart, the Norwegian G in this context chooses subtlety over force. It's almost as if it's whispering the sound, afraid to disturb the peace and tranquility of the Norwegian landscape. Think of the G as a gentle bridge between the Nor and the final E. It's not entirely silent, but it's also not a hard, pronounced sound. 
Instead, it gracefully ushers in the final vowel, creating a smooth and harmonious flow. The final E in Norge is pronounced similarly to the E in bed or red. It's a short, crisp vowel that adds a touch of brightness to the word. Together, the subtle G and the clear E create a satisfying conclusion to the word Norge. Now that we've dissected the pronunciation of Norge, it's time to put it all together and speak it like a local. Take a deep breath, imagine yourself surrounded by the beauty of Norway and give it a try, Norge. Remember the gentle scrape of the R, the whispered G and the crisp E. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the pronunciation that feels most natural to you. Learning a new language is about more than just memorizing words. It's about embracing a new culture and connecting with people in a meaningful way. So go forth, practice your Norwegian and impress the locals with your newfound linguistic skills. Echoes of the Vikings, the story behind Norgo. The word Norge itself whispers tales of ancient seafarers and rugged landscapes. To understand its origins, we must journey back in time to the era of the Vikings, those intrepid explorers who sailed the seas and left their mark on history. Norg derives from the Old Norse word Norega, a combination of Nord, North, and Vega, way. Imagine the Vikings, masters of navigation, referring to their homeland as the North Way, a fitting description for a land stretching towards the Arctic Circle. This simple yet evocative name speaks volumes about the Vikings' connection to the sea and their perception of their place in the world. It's a testament to their adventurous spirit and their deep-rooted bond with the land that shaped their destiny. Nordvega charting the linguistic course. The words Nord and Vega themselves hold fascinating linguistic clues. Nord has remained remarkably consistent throughout history, echoing across Germanic languages with slight variations. North in English, Nord in German, and Nord in Dutch. Vega, however, has undergone a more intriguing transformation. Originally meaning way or road, it evolved to encompass broader concepts of direction and movement. In modern Norwegian, ve, derived from vega, still means way or road, but it also forms the basis for words like raise, journey, and folge, follow. This linguistic journey reflects the Vikings' own voyages, their exploration of new lands, their navigation of treacherous seas, and their enduring legacy etched onto the map of language itself. From Old Norse to Modern Norwegian, a journey through time. The journey from Noriga to Norg is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of language. Over centuries, sounds shifted, words merged, and grammatical structures adapted, shaping Old Norse into the distinct branches of Scandinavian languages we know today. The softening of the GI in Norge is one such example of this linguistic evolution. This phonetic shift, along with others, distinguishes Norwegian from its Scandinavian siblings, Swedish and Danish, each with its own unique pronunciation of Norway. Understanding these linguistic nuances enhances our appreciation for the rich tapestry of languages and the interconnectedness of human history. It reminds us that language is not static, but rather a living, breathing entity, constantly adapting to the rhythms of time and culture. Section 4, The Enduring Legacy, Norge in the 21st century. Today, Norge stands as a powerful symbol of Norwegian identity. It's a word that evokes the country's breathtaking landscapes, its rich history, and its vibrant culture. It's a word that Norwegians use with pride, a testament to their heritage and their connection to the land they call home. The story of Norgo is a reminder that language is more than just a tool for communication. It's a vessel of history, a reflection of culture, and a powerful symbol of identity. North and South, medley, played by the United States Marine Fife and Drum Corps. Section 1, a tapestry of dialects, regional variations of Norge. Just as Norway's landscape varies dramatically from region to region, so too does the way Norwegians speak their language. 
Venture beyond the bustling streets of Oslo and you'll encounter a fascinating tapestry of dialects, each with its own unique rhythm and flair. These dialects, far from being mere accents, often boast their own distinct vocabulary and grammatical nuances, reflecting the country's rich history and diverse cultural influences. And yes, even the pronunciation of Nord takes on new dimensions as you traverse this linguistic landscape. Prepare to have your ears tantalized by the sing-song tones of the West Coast, the rolling R's of the Trondelag region, and the almost musical cadence of the North. Each dialect is a testament to the enduring power of language to shape and reflect local identity. Section 2 from Noreg to Nage, A Journey Across Dialects. In some parts of Norway, particularly in the west and south, Norge takes on a softer, almost vowel-like quality, transforming into Noreg with the GG barely audible, like a whisper carried by the wind. Travel further north and you might encounter pronunciations like Naji, where the O shifts towards an A sound similar to the A in father, and the G almost disappears, blending seamlessly with the final E. These variations might seem subtle, but they speak volumes about the history of migration, settlement patterns and cultural exchanges that have shaped the Norwegian language over centuries. They are reminders that language is not a monolith, but rather a fluid, ever-evolving entity. Section 3, embracing the nuances, why dialects matter. In an age of globalization and standardized language, it's easy to overlook the importance of dialects. Yet, these regional variations are vital threads in the rich tapestry of human language and culture. Dialects preserve linguistic diversity, offering a glimpse into the history and evolution of languages. They reflect the unique character of a region, its people, and its stories. Embracing dialects means celebrating the nuances that make each corner of the world special. So the next time you hear a different pronunciation of Norg, or any word for that matter, don't just hear the difference. Listen to the story it tells. Listen to the echoes of history, the whispers of tradition, and the vibrant pulse of a living language. Section 4, Norge, in harmony celebrating linguistic diversity. The beauty of the Norwegian language, and indeed any language, lies not in its uniformity, but in its diversity. The various pronunciations of Norge are not mistakes or deviations from a norm. They are testaments to the richness and vibrancy of a language spoken by real people with diverse histories and experiences. Just as the fjords and mountains create Norway's breathtaking landscape, so too do its dialects shape its linguistic terrain. Embracing this diversity, celebrating the nuances of each region, is key to appreciating the full beauty and complexity of the Norwegian language. So, whether you say Norge, Noreg or Narje, Remember that you're participating in a grand linguistic tradition, one that embraces variation and celebrates the unique tapestry of human expression. Section 1, Norge, in action, practical examples. Let's put your knowledge into practice. Imagine yourself in Norway, surrounded by breathtaking scenery and friendly locales. How would you use Norge in everyday conversations? Let's start with a simple greeting. Impress your Norwegian friends with Hey Jeg, or glad for a vire i Norge. Hi, I'm happy to be in Norway. Notice how Norge naturally flows in the sentence. The section two, navigating conversations using Norge with confidence. As you venture into Norwegian conversations, you'll find opportunities to use Norge naturally. Let's say someone asks where you're from. You can respond with Jeg kommer fra, your country. Men Jeg elsker a besoke Norg. Or at a local pub, share your travel plans saying Jeg skal reis runte Norge e to uker. The more you use Norg, the more it becomes second nature. Even if your grammar isn't perfect, the effort to speak Norwegian is appreciated. It shows respect for the local culture and a willingness to connect. Section 3. Beyond the Basics. Expressing Yourself in Norwegian. 
Learning a new language is about more than just memorizing words and phrases. It's about unlocking a new way of thinking, expressing yourself and experiencing the world. As you delve deeper into Norwegian, you'll discover a treasure trove of words and expressions that capture the essence of this unique culture. For instance, you might learn to say kozelig, a word that embodies the feeling of warmth, coziness and contentment so central to Norwegian life. Or you might master the art of using utepatur, aldrisur, a phrase that encapsulates the Norwegian love for nature and the outdoors. With each new word and phrase you learn, you're not just expanding your vocabulary, you're expanding your understanding of the world and your place in it. Section 4, Norgay and Beyond, Opening Doors to Cultural Understanding. In the grand tapestry of human experience, language is the thread that connects us all. Learning how to say Norway in Norwegian, Norge, is more than just a linguistic exercise. It's a step towards bridging cultural divides and fostering understanding. When we take the time to learn another language, we're not just acquiring a new skill, we're opening our minds to different perspectives, traditions and ways of life. We're acknowledging the beauty of diversity and the richness that comes from embracing different cultures. So let your journey into the world of Norwegian language and culture begin with Norge. Let it be a stepping stone to a lifetime of learning, exploring and connecting with the world around you. A journey well-traveled, reflecting on Norg. As we conclude our linguistic exploration of Norway in Norwegian, take a moment to appreciate the journey we've shared. We began with a simple question, a seemingly straightforward task of translation. Yet as we delved deeper, we uncovered a world of history, culture and linguistic nuance hidden within those six letters, Norge. We've traced the word's Viking origins, unraveled its phonetic intricacies and even ventured into the diverse landscape of Norwegian dialects, each with its own unique pronunciation. Like explorers charting a new course, we've navigated the subtleties of the Norwegian R, the whispered G and the crisp E, uncovering the music embedded within this seemingly simple word. This journey has been about more than just mastering pronunciation. It's been about appreciating the power of language to connect us to a place its people and its history. More than just a word, Norge as a cultural touchstone. Norge is more than just a name on a map. It's a word that encapsulates a nation's identity, its history and its spirit. For Norwegians, uttering this word evokes a sense of pride, belonging and connection to the land of fjords, mountains and Viking lore. Imagine standing on a windswept Norwegian cliffside, gazing out at the vast expanse of the North Sea. The word Norge takes on a whole new meaning in this context, embodying the raw beauty, untamed nature and quiet strength that defines this Nordic nation. As you continue your own exploration of Norway, whether in person or through its language and culture, carry the word Norge with you. Let it be a reminder of the journey you've taken, the connections you've made, and the power of language to bridge cultural divides. Unlocking a world of understanding, the power of language. Learning a new language is like opening a door to a whole new world of understanding. It's about more than just memorizing vocabulary and grammar rules. It's about stepping outside of your comfort zone embracing new perspectives and connecting with people on a deeper level. When you make the effort to speak a few words of Norwegian, even if it's just hey, hello, or tak, thank you, you're showing respect for the local culture and a willingness to bridge the communication gap. You're demonstrating that you see language not as a barrier, but as a bridge to understanding. In an increasingly interconnected world, the ability to communicate across cultures is more important than ever. Language learning fosters empathy, breaks down stereotypes and paves the way for greater understanding and collaboration. Embrace the journey, a final word from the fjords. So, as we bid farewell from the land of fjords and Vikings, remember that the journey of language learning is just beginning. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never lose sight of the joy of connecting with others through the power of words. 
Whether you're planning a trip to Norway, pursuing a passion for languages, or simply curious about the world around you, let Norgay be a symbol of the transformative power of learning and the endless possibilities that await when we open our minds to new cultures and experiences. Lick it till, good luck.